house and take to number six, Braylon Staley. And you know what that is. Touchdown! Jaden Neeson, number 50, Christian Eccles, and number 8, Jordan Boyd. And you're...
so far. Oh, man, I saw him last week. Like, Jesus Yeah, Ben Aiken would have had a scout team. <laughs> I mean, they just kept on That's right. Yeah. <laughs>
From way downtown. No. So. And at the half, Buddy Rose, 20. Because I think the.
second year here you got two region titles it seems like your boys really stepping up during region play why is that well we've got really good players they work hard they care about strong thurman football we've got a heck of a coaching staff that i'm blessed to be a part of and uh you know these, these guys take a lot of a lot of pride in playing in the peach Bowl. that's right coming into the night i think i heard you say that this defense silver bluff has they're loaded with talent they got kids d1 shrine bowl and it's going to be the best defensive front we've seen all year 34 points you put up. What can you say about your O-line and the rest of your offense for the way they handle that pressure? Man, the offensive line did off. You know, we got a couple holding calls here and there. We weren't perfect. But uh, offensive line did a great job, especially in the first half. And, and our defense, you know, our defense scored. Our defense put us in some short fields a couple of times. And we were able to play complimentary football like that with pretty tough. Yes, sir. I thought your defense was as physical as, as it has been all year long. You played some hard football tonight. They were hitting. Yeah, man. Blue Steel defense, you know. <laughs> they take a lot of pride in it. And uh, when the people before you set a standard of what the Blue Steel defense is, that's something we got to live up to. And then, boy, they take a lot of pride in it. That's right. We in the locker room up 20 at halftime. What did you tell your boys? It's a four-quarter football game. You know, got to keep fighting to keep the momentum. And uh, they did that. You know, I never felt like we lost the momentum of the game. And uh, real proud of it. Yes, sir. Well, Coach, congratulations. That's the second region title for you, the 29th in school history. And we'll see you next week at Lions Field against Fox Creek. Fox Creek. We'll be there. Yes, sir. Thank you, Appreciate Coach. Appreciate it. start with Braylon. I can't pronounce. Okay. You go to Braylon. Hi. Okay, so you had two touchdowns for just right in the Big things in your future. Talk to me about the offense. Then there's another guy, and it's been that way for you guys, where it's just a full 11 man effort out there. Um, why is this group so good? They're really talented. They really, really care about playing blue steel defense. And they take a lot of pride in it. And uh, a lot of those guys have a lot of experience. And that, anytime you have that experience and good players, that is a blessing. And the young guys that we have out there that are playing, really good football players too. And, uh, you know, those guys, they get to the football really fast. And we, had, we had a chance to create some turnovers tonight. We did, turn them into points, and man, they, they played awesome. I like just the, the start of the game that you guys had to be able to, I mean, have the, the two touchdown passes from Quan to Braylon right there, I mean, in the first quarter to really set the tone. Yeah, our offensive line did a really good job early in that game 
of moving the ball, letting us figure out what's happening, how can we get a shot, and uh, they kept the chains moving, running the ball early in the game. And when you can throw it, when you want to throw it, it's hard hard to cover all of our guys. And uh, you know, so those I know Braylon, Tolan, JC, well, Juan Edmond, you know, all those guys will tell you. They can't do any of it without those guys up front. Mm -hmm. And we're really, really proud of it. Mm -hmm. And Chris Barnes ran it hard tonight. Yeah. You know, when you needed short yardage stuff, Blocker gets yeah. in there and gets it. What does it say about those guys that, you know, they kind of understand the role that they have and they play it as well as they do? They're just thankful for it. You know, thankful for it. We got guys that play uh, specific roles. We got guys that play both ways. We got guys we count on uh, at certain times in the game. But when we call them, they go run. And, uh, you know, we're, we're all certainly thankful to Coach. Uh, just, you know, I remember we've talked about it a few weeks now about when this team plays Rebel football, that they're, that they're pretty tough to beat. Um, what can you say just about this last, I mean, four weeks that you guys have had in, in region play to get to this point? Yeah, well, those first five games in the non-region were really tough. Mm -hmm. and we were able to experience a lot of different scenarios and games, being up and having to hold on, trying to fight back and not quite getting there, playing really well and kind of dominating at times. But, you know, to have uh, all that experience, so now, now's the time to make it pay off. And now's the time to make it pay off, and those guys have really done it. The lessons that we learned early, we're not making those same mistakes again. We're not perfect, not perfect, but you can tell, you can tell we're a mature football. And you're the region champions. Region champions. <laughs> Congratulations.